Oh, good Friday morning. I was just watching a video by Bombard's Body Language. And uh, she was going over an interview that Megan Kelly did with Tara Reed. And Tara Reed is the woman that has accused Joe Biden of uh, sexually assaulting her at work. And uh, according to her body language, by this body language expert, she's telling the absolute truth. And uh, just, uh, I can't believe that nobody, when you consider the hell they put Kavanaugh through over, over, uh, what was her, Blasey Ford, Susan Blasey Ford, I mean, her story completely failed at every turn. People she said was there denied being there. People she said were witnesses denied being witnesses. She was clearly lying. And people uh, made us listen to this for months when they were trying to uh, uh, have Justice Kavanaugh, I guess, affirmed or appointed to the Supreme Court. And we had to listen to that nonsense. And they, we had to watch that man and his family just absolutely be destroyed emotionally and have his character attacked. And now we have a legitimate person talking about an actual sexual assault that is corroborated uh, as far back as when it happened. And the Democrats decide that this woman shouldn't be believed. It just uh, blows my mind. Blows my mind what we are witnessing in politics now. Just, uh, it is, it gives me a sick feeling in my stomach what the world has turned into. Not all of the world, only half the world. And uh, it just makes me more and more determined to never miss a vote. Anyway... It's uh, 7 o'clock, I'm going to finish my coffee, and head to work, <laughs> go to my shop. I got my little uh, iPad there, I'm going to set it up, and watch me uh, a free uh, Amazon Prime video while I'm sanding, and uh, go sand the day away. <sighs> okay, side one. Now, side two. That is 120. So I got a long way to go, but got a good start. Man, you've got to watch this movie. It's uh, on Amazon Prime. It's called Lies of Omission. Good God. You know uh, the Fast and Furious thing where uh, we lost some Border Patrol cops? to American guns in the hands of uh, the cartel Mexicans. Well, uh, Obama and Holder were, I mean, the, the crafters of that. And it was an absolute fact that they were trying to raise enough stink about automatic weapons or, or AR-15s. They weren't automatic weapons. They were semi-automatic weapons and AR-15s in particular, falling into the hands of the cartel members and killing Americans. They wanted to foment enough negative emotions in our country where they could ban assault weapons. And that was Eric Holder and Obama. Uh, they both had their fingers in that, and they're both guilty of the deaths of those uh, Border Patrol agents. Anyway, this is just a, a little piece of that is in this, but this is uh, about how mainstream media controls the narrative. Uh, if there is a story that they don't want heard, you don't hear it. And you have to really turn to uh, obscure sources or uh, digital journalists to find any truth out there. Lies of Omission. Very good movie. Okay, I watched that whole movie sanding the other side, the obverse side of this. 
up to 180. I'm up to 180 on this side. I mean, I've just started 180 on this side, so I think I'm going to stop and have a cup of coffee. Okay, Doug, that is sanded up to 800. Now, I'm going to take it out back. I'm going to heat treat it. And then temper it. And tomorrow, I will clean it up with 600. And 600 will be my final finish. And then I'm going to try and etch my logo. I've not had good luck with my logo. And honestly, I don't know that there's enough room up here. My handle comes, starts about here and curves in to about here. So I can't put it on, you know, in this area. It has to be on this area. And uh, my BC Blades logo, I don't know if it'll fit there. As a matter of fact, let me find a... Uh, let me find one of the uh, little uh, prints and, and put it on there and see. I mean, it just fits. Just fits. Okay. So tomorrow, I may get a piece of metal out and experiment because I have not mastered this etching. And uh, I've ruined a couple of blades with making stupid, ugly etches. So... Uh, I'm going to practice a little bit, and then I'll try again to etch my BC Blades logo up here. Okay, we will uh, see you tomorrow. do all that work and I gotta pick that up I know where you got that that's mine and I don't know why you think you can just take my stuff and bury it in the yard that's not very nice where's the rest of it there's two pieces to that that's a dinner skinner sheath that you stole from me you stole that from me and uh, I caught you red-handed now I give you some leather Come on, I'll give you some better. Well, I see where you got it from. There's part of it. Where's the other part? All right, here's the deal. I'll give you all the leather your heart desires. There you go. But don't steal it from me. I was in my shop, I heard my wife using my uh, cutoff saw, and I wondered what she was building. Now I know. You built a, you built a, a jungle gym for the chickens. Yeah, it won't be long, they'll have to stay outside. We tried leaving them out a couple nights and they just... Brittany! Yeah, Ruthie stopped. Leave her alone! They uh, fussed and fussed and fussed until we come and got them and we let them out of their pen outside and they ran up the road, ran up the ramp to the porch and ran right in the front door to their pool. So they definitely want to be in here at night. Their faces were so pitiful. They yeah. were trying to peek around the so they, and she looked like she was standing on tiptoes so she could see me. Yeah, yeah, they were really unhappy about being outside. The, I, I've already told them uh, if they get out, then they're going to the pen at night. They can't stay in here anymore. Well, you did have that chicken fly over. Yeah, I had my leg out like this and a chicken flew over here, got on my leg, and then got all the way up here and cuddled up against my bed.
big fat warm belly. And I just sat here and I petted her. Here, let me back you out a little bit. I petted her and petted her and petted her. For about 10 minutes, I just kept petting her and she just kept sitting there and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna have poop to clean up. But she didn't poop on me and then she flew back over to there and went back to doing chicken stuff. Oh, that was pretty weird. And Breezy, he was sitting here, he was looking at me, looking at the chicken, looking at me, looking at the chicken. And uh, I was happy with the chicken being here, so he finally just laid back down and said, "Okay, if, if, you're, if that's if that's how it's going to be, I can I can deal with it." Yeah, he's probably thinking, "Okay, we've taken it to a new level." Yeah.